Every year, when an Indian is appointed as a successful CEO of a multinational company, we Indians cannot hold our joy and our pride escalates like anything. Welcome to Valuationary and today we are going to discuss why Indians are so successful in the US. Is it just a matter of mindless jingoism that we beat our drums whenever an Indian American exceeds to the corporate throne? Or is there something more than just what meets the eye? Let's start here. We are a billion people. We quite naturally out to be everywhere in great numbers. Going a little back in time, India wasn't a very business friendly country for the longest time. So while the government was making life a little difficult for businesses, it also at the same time could not curb our opportunism for pursuing a better tomorrow. Thus, as immigration to the Western countries was made progressively easier, many of us jumped buses and shifted our base to start with new lives. The English education system that we inherited from the British certainly helped. After all, English is the only foreign language that most of us know till date. Where else could have we gone if not to the English speaking nations? Especially USA, which sold its American dream to everyone in the world. This explains why we have such a huge Indian diasporas abroad, but not why we have performed so exceedingly well. Well, we Indians have typically excelled in STEM fields. India produces 1.5 million engineers annually, most of whom have developed a great analytical rigor and engineering brilliance in the process. Additionally, these Indians have beaten all the odds to procure their degree in the first place because after all, the entrance exams to these colleges are incredibly tough. Hence, employers can be assured that Indian talent is not only abundantly available but also can excel at any and every task assigned to them. Besides these hard skills, an Indian way of life has actually prepared an individual or an average person to live, to thrive, to strive in any setting. Where other people give up, Indians remain more resilient. Rather than complaining about how unfair the system is, we have found all our ways out either around or through it. Instead of getting fed up with the everyday office politics, we try to be on good terms with everyone and we do not complain, rather we try to get things done in time. We also learn how to be reasonable and therefore are always prepared to give in extra hours early in our careers, not worrying exactly about our work-life balance. Additionally, we also know how it is to live like and perform well in a very diverse environment. India is an incredibly diverse country based on religion, region, caste, class and we have accustomed ourselves into that kind of an environment already. Therefore, whenever we shift our bases, we do not take a longer time to adapt to that particular culture. More importantly, because the majority of Indians, like some of us, do not have a privileged upbringing. Therefore, the foreign companies acquire this talent cheaply as compared to their local counterparts. Foreign companies make it lucrative for Indians to go abroad and work, where the compensation is not only higher, but also allows them with an opportunity to escape their vicious cycle of poverty. Moreover, in recent times, brands like Twitter have an increased trouble with the Indian government. Therefore, appointing an Indian CEO could be a very strategic move. At the same time, the capital markets also accept these decisions very gracefully. So why not? Does not seem surprising that Indians are heading the world's largest companies, does it? Thank you for watching and do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Valuationary. Also, make sure that you comment below what kind of video would you like to watch next. Thank you.